Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Chris McCabe. And we are from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group One Inc. in Reno, Nevada. Today, Chris and I are gonna take a look back at the May 2019 real estate market activity near State Line, Nevada. Yes, and if this is your first time watching our market reports, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below. We'll be putting out a lot of market reports this summer. You don't want to miss a single one. And if this is your first time, be sure to watch the past market reports so you can see how the market has been trending. All right, Chris, well, let's take a look inside MLS, see what happened around State Line, and then go on a tour of uh, one of Lake Tahoe's finest properties. Absolutely. We have already pulled the data from MLS for state line, including condos and stick builds. We've got May 19 on top and May 2018 on the bottom. So Chris, tell us what happened. Well, it was interesting. State line skipped spring and we went right into the summer buying season. 37 units sold in May compared to only 11 in April. 39 sold last year, so we're right on pace. Of the 37 sold in May, 21 were condos at a median price of $495,000, including a $1.3 million spot on Lakeshore Boulevard. The 16 homes that sold at a median price of just over $1 million, but an average of almost $1.5 million. The big winner was 642 Lakeshore, getting 100% of asking at just under $6 million. Chris, how was it that a $6 million property was only on the market for 33 days and got 100%, but then you've got these $2 million properties that were on the market for almost or even more than a year. Where's the rhyme or reason here? Well, Phil, it was a majestic property on the lake in Marla Bay. Beautiful, uh, five bedroom, four bath, almost 5,000 square feet, uh, complete with its own beach and buoy. Percent of ask received this May was 96.95%, a respectable number for this area and time of year. Last year, a different story at 92%, mostly because the $13 million listing was overpriced and the three year period on the market reflects that. And that's also why days on market in 2018 is over 200, yet in 2019, we're just over 100. That's correct, Philip. Well, for more market reports, and especially to see where we sourced the numbers from April, click the link you see in the upper right corner now. We are on our website, renotahohomes.com, and our featured property this month is 1266 Tamarack Drive, right on the lake in Glenbrook. Chris, tell us about this luxury listing. This is an amazing home at just under 8.5 million. It has six bedrooms, seven baths, and slightly over 8,000 square feet. Sorry to correct you, seven and a half baths. Ah, <laughs> yes. Thank you, Philip. <laughs> because eight bathrooms just isn't enough for one house. You never know when you're having a big party. That's true. Okay. It was also built in 2003 and it's on just over a third of an acre. Chris, with a kitchen this big, you could definitely have a massive party. That you could. You could have 25, 30 of your best friends. You've got double ovens, you've got double islands. Uh, seating all around, not to mention an amazing lake view from the kitchen. Something else of note, we often see in luxury listings like this, photoshopped images and false images on windows, but this is your natural sunset lighting color scheme. You can tell because it's reflecting off of that counter. Excellent catch, Philip, and you're, you're absolutely correct. That just improves the view from this little dining area. There's views from every room. Chris, I am just in awe of this sunken living room feature right off of the kitchen and dining room. It's just a, it's a grand master room and, and it all looks out over the lake as well. Looks almost more like the bridge from Star Trek. Captain Kirk would be pleased. Now this is not a mural of Gone with the Wind. This is the movie room. That is a screen. Every lakeside mansion needs to have its media room just in case you get a little rain. That is a 15 foot movie screen. With surround sound speakers throughout it looks like. Yes. Chris, is it safe to call this room the Tahoe Grotto? Boy, I can't think of a better name for it. Not only do you have a waterfall and a place to soak, but what better place to have a glass of wine at the end of the day? And if you need more than a glass of wine, just go relax in your bar. 
Fireplace behind you, chairs looking out at the lake. Very nice. Three levels of decks and your own beach. Incredible. Absolutely amazing. And, and just in case you're a little tired after a day of boating, there is an elevator as well that takes you to the top level where the master suite is. This also comes with a deeded buoy. Which means that Chris McCabe can take you on a tour of this property by boat. I would love to do that. And to see listings by the Nevada Real Estate Group, click the link you see in the upper right corner now. If you have any questions about the numbers we've discussed, or if you're ready to go tour that lake property by boat or kayak, you can contact Chris. His information is in the YouTube description below. And if you found this info helpful, please share our video to your social media too. We certainly would appreciate it. All right, well, that'll do it for us here at the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada. I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Chris McCabe. We'll Thanks. see you next month.